Hello, everyone. This is Zahid Bashir. Uh, today, I am going to discuss the next part uh, of uh, uh, charting the coding data, the coded data, how to chart the coded data, because previously we have discussed uh, uh, the case classification and the file classification in detail. But today, uh, I am going to discuss, uh, today, I am going to discuss the uh, charting of uh, our coded data. So let me explain uh, the procedure in detail and how to consider uh, your coded data for charting procedure. So whenever you uh, need to chart the data, you have three options, chart your coding, chart your files, and chart your cases. In the previous session, we have discussed uh, charting the files and charting the cases. Uh, in, in, in the previous session. Today, we are going to discuss how to chart the coding data. So charting the coding data. Uh, there are a lot of options available under charting the coding data. Uh, the first option would be coding for a file. So if you need to code for a file, it shows coding information for a particular file. You can see which codes are most used to code that particular file. For example, the file competing water uses is most coded by the code economy. You can also see how much coding is done on a particular file and which users coded the file. So let me open this one. We have seven days remaining uh, in the trial version. So let me open the file. Um, always remember that when you have created a project, uh, and you need to open it, always go to recent projects. So this is how you can do the analysis. So the procedure that we are going to consider is basically located in the menu bar explorer. You go to the chart and if you click on it, you will see three options here, coding, files and classes. As we have already discussed the file and classes uh, sorry, cases in the previous session. So today we are going to discuss the coding procedure uh, in detail for charting wizard. So uh, click on coding and then click on next. You will see uh, approximately six options here. Coding for a file, coding by case attributes value for a file, coding by case attributes value for multiple files, coding for a code, coding by case attributes value for a code, coding by case attribute value for multiple codes. So uh, you need to understand each one of them independently. So let me let me show the detail for each one. So whenever you need to code for a particular file, uh, you need to see what coding information is relevant to a particular file or what codes are used to code a specific file. So coding for a file, uh, let me uh, click on the next. You need to select a particular file for coding purpose. Uh, go to select and you will see here the files. Click on the plus sign and you will see what kind of folders do we have available. We have field notes, we have focus discussion, we have interviews, we have pictures. So let's suppose uh, I am choosing the interview and among interview, uh, let's suppose I am choosing the R4 file because it is document file. Most of the codes are being selected from here. So click on OK. Now I need to tell that which criteria uh, I would like to use. I want to use most coded. Which codes are mostly coded in R4 file or respondent for file. I want to see whether percentage coverage, number of coding references, number of words coded, duration coded, number of cases coded, number of case coded within a classification. So there are a lot of criteria that we can use. So let's suppose we are going to use the percentage coverage criteria. In Z axis, there is nothing here. We can, we can somehow select the users here. Uh, uh, to fr from home the coding has been done. So click edit and you will see uh, the output here like this. 
So R4 is coded by causes of depression uh, approximately 6.63 percentage, uh, psychological factor by 3.59 percentage. Uh, the thinking code with 3.59 uh, the biological factor with 3.04 percentage, uh, the uh, cause, uh, the brain chemical uh, by 3.04 percentage, uh, the poor relationship with relatives by 2.71 percentage, uh, the work condition by, uh, you, you can see here, by how many percentage? 2.66 percentage. So you can see here the percentage that uh, at what percentage a particular code was used in a particular file. So yes, we can we can consider more than one file. There are a lot of options, but this option is for particular file uh, if, if, if we want to see. There are other criteria too uh, that you can use here. Uh, you can you can change the shape of the graph like this, like this. There are a lot of options here. You can use uh, as per your convenience. Uh, there are a lot of options here. You need to explore uh, the options. So let me close this one and I again go to chart and coding. Code for a file. Now, this time, I need to change the criteria. Uh, let's suppose interview R4, the same file I am going to use. But this time, from y-axis, I am going to consider the other uh, criteria like uh, number of cases coded. For example, I am going to use it. Now, click on finish. And it will show me that how many number of cases I have code. So number of cases code is one. Basically it is indicating. So there are a lot more options here. You need to explore this one. So the basic thing that you need to understand here is that this option works only for a particular file. So if you need to create, if you need to uh, apply the coding procedure for just a particular file, you, you can use it. The second option, coding by case attribute value for a file. Now here, we consider the case attribute. Huh? We consider I'm the sure case I'm attribute and we can, we, we, can, we can consider the case attribute here. So, uh, first of all, we need to understand from here, what does it mean by coding by case attribute value for a file? It shows how a particular file is coded against one or two classified case attributes. So here we are going to consider the case attributes. It means we are going to consider the demographic variable for a particular file that what, what uh, particular attributes are involved in a particular file, whether uh, in case of gender, males are involved here, females are involved here, what, what sort of qualification or marital status involved here. So you are going to attach your demographic variable here with your uh, file. So just click on the next. And uh, first of all, you need to tell which file you are going to explore. For example, I'm going to explore the interviews and from there, for example, I am going to use the R4 because most of the codes are created here. So I am going to consider the R4. Uh, I click on OK. Now I need to tell what kind of attribute I am going to see for coding purpose here for X axis, select it. And you will see the demographic variable here. You need to click on the plus sign and you will see a lot of uh, options here like gender, marital status, age, qualification. So it is up to you which code you would like to see uh, for a particular file. For example, I would like to see the uh, age as a attribute uh, for R4 file. So I click on OK. 
And I can also select the other attributes too, if I would like to see, but for your convenience, I am just selecting the X attribute here. Now for X attribute, I need to select all attribute value except unassigned, because if I do not check this sign, it will include the unassigned and not applicable to. So uh, you, you need to click on all attribute values except unassigned. Uh, so uh, here is the criteria, what, what, what kinds of uh, things you want to see, whether you want to see the percentage coverage, number of coding references, number of cases coded, and so on. So first of all, I need to see the percentage coverage and click on finish. You will see the results here. So, uh, in, in case of uh, respondent core file, R core file, uh, the particular respondent are relevant to age category 31 to 40 years. So, this is how we can see. If, if we see, uh, if we change the criteria, uh, we can consider here uh, by selecting the variable, go to Z attribute and you can, you can assign another uh, attribute here. For example, along with the age criteria, I would like to see the uh, qualifications too as a second attribute here. So for that access, all attribute accepts unassigned and click on OK. Now you will see uh, along with the age criteria, you can see the qualification criteria too. So for simplicity, <laughs> I can choose you another one from there. Like this. Now you can see there is no undergraduate from any age category relevant to R4. The person who were 31 to 40 years in R4 is basically the graduate person. So uh, you can choose whatever best interpret your results. So in the same way, you can change the selection criteria. Uh, in, 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 in place of percentage coverage, I, I want to see the number of cases coded. So click on OK. And you will see the number of cases coded here. So the cases coded with graduate and with age criteria is only one. So there is only one cases which are coded from R4. So you can you can change whatever you want to change from here. You can change number of coding references from here. Click on OK. It will indicate the same thing. So I think the best thing that you can explore from here is basically the percentage coverage from here that will indicate what percentage of responses are covered under this criteria. So we go to another option. We go to the explore charts, charts again, coding, because we have previously done files and cases. Now, uh, as we have previously done with coding by case attribute, the third option is coding by case attribute value for multiple files. Now we can we can consider the multiple file. In the previous two options, we we were considering only one file with I, uh, either coding option or with either the attribute case attribute option. But in in the third option we can consider the case attribute with multiple files. So click on next and we can, we can select the files, multiple files from here. Go to file options, uh, sorry, this plus option. And you have a lot of options from field notes, from focus group, from interviews. For example, I want to select all participants from the interview. So I just need to check on it. In that case, you don't need to select only one uh, options from uh, or one participant from here. You can select the multiple participants from here. So click on OK. 
and uh, now I need to tell which attribute I, I, I want to uh, uh, examine here. So let me choose, let's suppose I want to see the age category, for example. Click on OK. Now, now I want to tell uh, all attribute value except unassigned and not applicable from here. And what criteria I need to choose? I need to choose percentage service. All right. You can also choose uh, descending or ascending order from here, but uh, I think we it is fine to use the default option. So click finish. It will show you the chart like this. Now, uh, you, you can simplify it uh, by choosing any of the options uh, from here, like this. There are a lot of options here you can choose. This is the R7. If you click on any one, it will show you the detail. The R7 indicates that the age demographic is 18 uh, to 25 years. The this, this option indicates the R3. It shows the age criteria 26 to 30 years. Uh, and uh, these, these, these options is, uh, indicate the R4. This option indicates the R6. So there are a lot of options that you can explore from here. This one is also feasible if you would like to use. And this one is also feasible. So there are a lot of options you can use as per your own convenience. You can basically rotate uh, as per your own convenience. This one is relatively fine. If you click any one of it, it will show you the specific detail about that particular uh, attribute. So you can change it. Let me choose another options from here. I go to explore chart, charts option here, quoting, and then quoting by case attribute value for multiple file. I choose the files from here, specifically the interviews. Click on OK. And I change the X attribute. For example, I change it by, for example, gender this time. So I need to see, see uh, the all attribute value except unassigned and click on finish. Now it will indicate me the gender attribute. I can rotate as per my own conveyance. So it is it is showing me that in case of R1, there were male. In case of R2, there were also male. In case of R3, this is female. R4, male. R5, uh, female. R6 is also female. And R7 is male, actually. So this is how you can... You can uh, Code your uh, your demographic variable with multiple files, and in fact, you can choose all of your files too. You go to create, sorry, explore, charts, chart options, coding, coding by case attribute value for multiple files. Click on next, and you can select all of your files. For example, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And click on OK. Now it has selected all your files. And you go to, for example, you again select the gender. And all attributes except unassigned, click on finish. And it will indicate you all of your files. So as we have allocated the attributes of gender or other attributes with only the respondent one to respondent seven so they have shown the files like this so you can you can rotate as per your own conveyance so let us let us choose another option go to explore go to chart 
charts option here coding now go for the fourth option now coding for a code if you want to see the coding for a particular code we can use it so what is the particular detail regarding this coding for a code it shows how a particular code is used in coding files so this can help you see which files are most or least coded to a code for example the code habitat has more coding references from interview with barbara than other files so you can compare which code is basically coded with a particular file as compared to other files so coding for a code click on next i need to identify which code is basically being coded with other files so for example i would like to see the biological factors as a axial code select uh, item for nickname there is no nickname here click on ok and then the most coded file i need to see in which file biological factors are mostly coded uh, it will show me the percentage coverage the number of coding references the number of words coded duration coded number of case coded number of case coded with classification so let let us check with percentage coded and it will show me uh, the user who have coded it uh, i will let you know how to use it but let us first uh, consider this option so it will show me uh, the most coding for biological factor is done with r1 file most of the codes are here in r1 file or field notes file the r1 have most of the code here r2 having the second one uh, with most of the code r3 is the third one with most of the code r6 is the fourth one with most of the codes and r4 is the uh, fifth one with most of the codes it means we need to consider the other files for uh, the other codes here if we need to see why there are less codes in other files so we, we can check the other files why there are less codes here so you can select the data you can change the criteria from here for example number of coding references click on ok it it will show me how many coding references were used so in in terms of coding references field notes 2 file is the uh, better one file because it has most of the coding references uh, the r6 file is second one the field notes one file is the third one with most of the coding references r1 and r4 are the uh, fourth one with most of the coding references you can also check the criteria from here uh, number of words coded let's go this is the criteria i would like to see so field notes 2 is the file with most of the number of words coded with <coughs> you can change the criteria one by one number of case coded or number of uh, case coded with classification click on it it will show you the number of case coded and if i see the number of case coded with classification now what will happen please select the classification for y-axis so select the item in, in that case you need to select the item so let me select the item for example i select the items from interview click on it and click on ok please select the classification for y-axis so i need to check the classification uh, where is the classification here? I think this one. Let me click on it. Okay. Please select the classification for y axis. 
Uh, I think this option does not work here. We need to see the other details. Let me show you uh, another thing. That is Z-axis, selected users. It means the users who have collected the data. So if your data is collected by uh, different users, you can code them also. Because uh, here the data is uh, mostly coded by me and collected by me. So the option available here is only with my name. So I click on OK and it will show me uh, the data which is basically indicated by me. So this is how these options can be explored. Let us explore another, uh, the next option. Chart. Coding. And the we are going to use the second last option because we have used the coding for a code. So coding by case attribute value for a code. Now I need to identify the code, which code I am going to explore uh, with reference to different. Now this time I am interested in psychological factors. So click on OK. Now I need to select X attribute. For example, I would like to select the marital status. Let's go. Click on OK. Percentage coverage, OK. All attribute except unassigned and not applicable. Click on finish. It will show me the result like this. Now with psychological factor, 33.33% uh, uh, with married status, 22.18. With divorce, 44.49%. Uh, you can change uh, this criteria. For example, I go to marital status. Uh, rather than considering the marital status, I considering, uh, I, I change the code actually. For example, if I would like to see uh, the stressful people among the marital status. Click on OK and it will show me that 40% people are single or engaged or 40% uh, were divorced with stressful status. It means those people who are single or engaged or divorced, they are having stress. While the people who are married, uh, although this result is uh, opposite with with uh, the uh, with 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 the fact that most of the people who are married uh, may be on stress level, may may be may be high on stress level, but scientifically, those people who are single or divorced, they may be having more stress. So uh, you 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 can change the criteria. You can explore the. Uh, other options from here. So go to chart coding. Uh, let let us explore the last option from coding by case attribute value for multiple codes. So click on next. Now select multiple codes from here. For example, from psychological factor, I am going to consider the stress and the loss from here and personality, sense of failure, and thinking as multiple quotes from here. And uh, I am going to consider uh, these quotes between male and female as a gender. So all attribute value uh, uh, except unassigned and not applicable, click on finish. And it will show me the result like this. Now, if you see here, It will indicate me that among male and female, 40% are male and 40% are female uh, having the stress. While in case of loss, there is zero percentage of male and female. While in case of personality, 75% are female uh, having uh, the stress due to personality. So these are the causes of depression that may be prevailing in male and female so sense of uh, sense of failure 
uh, in case of uh, female, a uh, sense of failure is 50% contributing towards the depression, while in case of male, it is also 50% contributing towards the depression. While in case of thinking, 26.90% uh, female uh, are contributing towards depression, while it is majorly contributing towards uh, uh, basically the male. So this is how you can you can uh, visualize your data. There are a lot of options here. You can use. Uh, you can you can also visualize by different options here. Uh, like you can you can use this visualization. In case of loss, there is no data available for male and female to indicate loss as a cause of depression. So you can visualize by applying different options from here, whichever uh, basically fulfills your purpose, your purpose of the study, you should use that particular graph. So this is this is how you can you can uh, indicate your graphs using different options from here. So let us let us change uh, the criteria of gender. Let us choose. Uh, between the different age criteria. Click on OK. Now it will, it, it is showing you the age criteria in terms of different stressful events. If you see that the age between 18 to 25 years, there are 40% participants from the age category of 18 to 25 years who may have the stress the stress as a as a personality factor as a cause of depression there are greater than 40% of the age category who may also have the stress and if you see there is no age category for the loss as a cause of depression there is an age category of greater than 40 years who may have personality as the cause of depression. Sense of failure uh, is here with the age category 26 to 30 years, as well as greater than 40 years. Then thinking between the age category greater than 40 years and uh, between greater than 31 to 40 years. So this is how you can, you can relate your different attributes here. This is how you can consider uh, different coding schemes here. So uh, we have considered uh, the chart criteria. We have considered in detail how the different option works here, how the different options you can utilize for your own purpose in relation to your own visualization scheme, how you can interpret them. And always remember that what graph, whatever the graph, fulfill your purpose, always use that graph. Now, the next thing is the hierarchical graph or hierarchical chart that we are going to use uh, with the next discussion. So go to explore and the next option you will see here is the hierarchy charts. Now, the hierarchy charts are the charts which will indicate how different codes uh, are being shown with a particular uh, uh, selective code and how much they contribute in determining a, a, a particular uh, a code. So amount for coding for code, click on next. Uh, always use the selective item from here. Uh, for example, I want to see the the particular contribution of different codes like loss, personality, sense of failure, stress, and thinking uh, in, in, in case of psychological factor. So I need to check on it like this and click on OK. So I want to see how much these open codes contributes towards psychological factors. So click on OK and click on Finish. So it will indicate me uh, uh, 
a chart. I can put this. Just can put this hierarchy. Why it is not indicating? I can put this. Just can put them. I can color. Select data. We have selected data. Why it is not indicating? Let me show the. This one, click on OK, click on OK. It is not showing again. Let me choose another code. Uh, there is less than one minute. Uh, kindly uh, join the meeting again. So we can start the next meeting with the next uh, basically concept that is the hierarchy charts. So 